Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we're going to be reviewing Transformers Earthrise, Decepticon, Airwave. But here's his packaging and a nice product shot of Airwave in his battle station mode, which ain't half bad. Back at the box, we got Airwave's multiple vehicle modes. Not bad looking. So myself, that's all there is to say for the packaging. Look at Airwave himself. And he's not a bad-looking Decepticon battle station. Why not? He's good-looking. But what he does in this mode, he rolls very well because he's got wheels on his treads. And here's a couple MicroMasters on his base mode to show that off. Why not? Why wouldn't we show that off? It's fun. Very fun. And the last MicroMasters we'll show off on there are the... The military grade MicroMasters on that figure. First mode all done. We're going to do the second mode, mode, which is tricky enough, so I have to do it off camera and look at the packaging. So, some disassembly required for this. But I've memorized the second mode completely, so. If I can get this to work on camera, I'll show you off the second mode. So far, it's working for me so far. Okay. We're copying, copying this mode off of the toy itself, so it's taking some time. Sorry, it's taking so long, but it's coming along nicely. But here's the second MicroMaster base mode. And now we're going to tr transform an airwave into his robot mode. But that's the main mode for airwave. His main two battle station modes. He does have a gun station mode, so we're going to have to look at the instructions for that. Glad I kept the instructions. That is his final mode before we do robot mode. So far, I'm getting it here off camera.
So some memory is required for this robot mode. Then we got one final mode we're going to show off with him. Okay, so I'm definitely doing something wrong, so I'm still figuring it out. Sorry it's taken so long. Okay, one part done. So a lot of transformation steps with this, for sure. But yeah, it's an easy transformation so far. A lot of steps. So... Technically, I'm doing this off camera because it's hard enough to do it on camera. Okay. Come on, work with me here. And we got it. Here is Airwaves Cannon Mode, which ain't half bad. But now we're getting on to Robot Mode, which is very simple. So I'm just going to look at the instructions for that and put them in his Robot Mode. Mode. Before we do his robot mode, let's see what he looks like on Megatron, all armored up. I'm going to show him his robot mode and then arm him up with Megatron. Why not? He's Megatron. Leader of the Decepticons.
Okay, we're getting him transformed so far. And he's coming along nicely. Well, here we got Airways in his robot mode. Now for some comparisons before we show him off combined. And these bots have an ability to combine. Just for the sake of comparisons, because Airways got one eye like Shockwave. I'm going to turn the camera on so you can see that. Turn the camera flashlight on. You kind of see they both have one eye, Airwave and Shockwave, so they share a lot in common. In case you're wondering about Decepticon Airwave, I do have a little bio on him. He was originally a Micromaster base that didn't transform, as all you know. But Earthrise brought him back as an actual transforming robot. And Airwave shares a... Similarity with one eye with G1 Shockwave and the other Shockwaves. But Airwave is my second one eye Decepticon next to my G1 Decepticon. Yeah, they got that in common because they're both Transformers. Why not? Dare I say why not? But now we got one final gimmick to show off. Him combined with Lord Megatron. So we're going to get out my Siege Megatron and show off Airwave as armor for Lord Megatron himself. Which means disassembling him off camera and then reassembling him as part of Lord Megatron's battle armor. But here's Airwave, powered up Transformers Siege, Megatron with a big battle armor mode, which is very impressive. Airwave can combine with your other deluxe class figures to form a more powerful robot. That's the last part of this review. If you enjoyed this throwback to the MicroMaster series in Generation 1 slash Earthrise, make sure to like. Make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you, and this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.